So the latest version of BetAngel, we've made a number of enhancements. You can read about those on the blog or the forum. But what I want to show you in this video is the key enhancement that we've made in version BetAngel 143. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get instant notification of new videos as they're released. So yeah, in this version, we've made a number of enhancements, but the key one um, I want to show you here. And to find it, you have to go into the settings. So you can access the settings through this spanner or up here and edit settings. So if I click here, this is always the logical way for me to access settings. That will bring up the settings option. And you can see you've got a range of different settings here. And where we're headed, is the behavior tab and if you click on the behavior tab at the bottom you'll see keyboard shortcuts it looks very small but you'll see in a second it's a big enhancement so what we need to do first of all is create a profile what will appear in here is a list of profiles that you've created you could split them down by racing football tennis whatever you want to do uh, however you want to do it but we need to create the profile first so if we create a profile you'll see a box appear and people who are regular users of BetAngel will recognize the look and feel of this dialog box because it looks and feels the same way as you would to do in automation. But what you can do here, um, you can do the same sort of thing. You can add multiple uh, rules, as it were, within here. Um, but what we need to do here is we're going to assign keystrokes to actions within BetAngel. Uh, the big enhancement is all around the ability to take an action and assign a keystroke to it. The benefit being it will speed up everything that you're doing and allow you to do it much quicker and more efficiently. So first of all, we'll capture a key press. So if I click on capture next key press, whatever I type now will go into here. So I could actually do um, anything on the keyboard itself. But what I'm actually going to do here is do Control, Shift, and 1. So you can see on the keyboard I pressed Control, Shift, and 1. And we need to assign an action to it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the one click screen, for example, here, and we're going to say change the value of the stake on the one click screen. And I'm going to say change the stake on the back and the lay to £10. So once we've done that, you can see that appears up here. If we want to, within this grouping, within this profile, to include other things, um, we can do so. So if I add another one in here, this time I'm going to do capture, next key press, I'm going to do control, shift and two. And I'm going to say, OK, we're going to look at bet cancellation and I want you to cancel all unmatched bets in the market if I press Control Shift and 2. So you can see we can actually add more and more and more and more in um, if we want to. We don't need to on this occasion because this is just a demonstration. But we need to save this profile. So I'm going to call this one Peter's uh, in running uh, keys. There we go. And with that set up in place, we can actually select that from the drop-down menu. Now, you can have loads of these if you want to for different sports and different things, depending upon what you want to try and do. And once you create and save that, then you can actually save that as a, as a setting. So if you have a default set of keystrokes that you want to use, you can set that as default, or you could change any element of this, and that will save all of those settings relative to it. So you can modify every single setting and the keyboard shortcuts and then save that within your own specific profile so you can have different profiles with different settings and different setups according to how you want to use it it's really really flexible so i'm just going to close the settings dialog box for the moment and we'll reprise what we did we went to settings here we went to the behavior tab and then we created a new profile if we want to edit that we can just bring up the profile in there and click edit and there are the instructions that we gave to bet angel but once you've selected that profile, that's free for you to use. So you, remember the first thing we said was change the stakes to £10. So you can see we've got stakes set up at a ridiculously high level here. And if I go over one of these selections here and press Control shift one can you see it's modified it to £10 stake? Boom. You can see wherever I'm pointing the mouse, whatever I'm about to trade, modifies the stake underneath. Very, very simple. So the idea of the keystrokes is that you could have them pre-programmed on a keyboard or a gamepad or a, a, a gaming mouse or something and it would just allow you to quickly flick and modify key actions within the software at the touch of a button. So if I go over here and I just place a couple of um, orders uh, all the way over here, remember we assigned keystroke control shift 2 to cancel bets. So there you go. There go the cancelled bets. Um, and it's that simple, really. And once you've 
go into the editor, I'm not going to explain each of the individual actions that you can assign, but you can actually see down here, uh, so for example on the ladder screen, these are all of the actions that you can assign on the ladder screen. There are an awful lot that you can do within there. And you can see, um, you can assign stuff within global settings, um, trade closures, you can decide how uh, positions are closed at particular moments in time. You can see we used bet cancellation just a second there to cancel all bets. You could cancel some, the back, the lay, all of those things. But there are an awful lot of actions that you can assign to key presses within there. And you can assign it to any particular key press. And you can see also on here it says ignore the shortcut when focused on the text box. So it's saying if you're about to type something or you're, you're in a situation where that is unlikely to be applicable, you can ignore it. So yeah. Um, you know, I could spend ages going through uh, all of these individual functions, but what I suggest is that you download the latest version of BetAngel, install it, and have a play. If you're an existing customer or you're a trialist, you can download and install the latest version and use it. There's no additional charges or anything like that, and you can get the benefit of this great new feature. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools, and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial.